Aloha headsets, Frank here, it's review time once again, and this week we're looking at Ping Pong VR by Merge Games. So, pick up your paddles and grab your balls, cause it's time for some virtual table tennis. Now, ever since the motion-based controller appeared on the scene, your boy Frank has gobbled up every ping pong title he could find. In high school, you could always find me hustling kids out of their lunch money by winning game after game in our senior lounge. So, you'll know as soon as I saw the trophies pop for ping pong VR, I was extremely excited to get my hands on a final product. Maybe a little too excited. Ever since hopping into Sports Bar VR for the first time, I know that it wouldn't be too long till a developer released the ping pong game for the PSVR. And I'm sad to say, this one really doesn't live up to my expectations. Don't get me wrong, it's not terrible, but it's just not what I expected. But as always, don't just listen to me, take a look. Story, you hit balls. Visuals. The visuals are fine, nothing to write home about. I kinda wish they had gone for a more realistic look rather than making a game that looks like it was built with a Minecraft, but hey, what you gonna do? The paddles look fine, the ball looks like a ball, and the colors are all very bright. I didn't really find any issues with the visuals. Everything seemed to stay crisp, but honestly, it's not like there's some crazy level of visual fidelity they were going for in this game to begin with. Oh yeah. The audio works, the crowd is a little annoying, but you can turn that off. The music is just happy little chip tunes, which I don't mind, but as always, I would much prefer Spotify support. The ball makes satisfying sounds when you hit it and when it hits the table, and really, that's all I need. Gameplay. The gameplay is fun, but when compared to other paddle-based VR games, it just feels like it's lacking. You can choose to play with either one or two move controllers, the latter allowing you to serve with one hand while you swing with the other. This was my preferred method of play, but whenever my serving hand went near my swinging hand, the battle kind of glitched out a little, and I missed a few easy shots that way. Now, using one move controller, the ball gets tossed up by pressing the T button, and it's not as easy to hit, but once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. You can also power up your swings by holding down any button, but I never really felt much of an effect when doing this. My big issue with the gameplay is the lack of any multiplayer support. I know that after reading the game description it wouldn't be there, but it still bumps me out. I really wanted to school some of you wonderful people in ping pong, and after seeing the game was only $9.99 in a Steam store, I was hoping a 5 buck increase would net us something cool. But sadly, I believe it's the exact same game, just at a more premium price. Now, I told you how to play, and I told you what I think is lacking, but what's there? Well, you get a couple game modes. The first is just single match. You pick from easy, medium, or hard, and you play the AI. These are fun, but the game offers no real emphasis that you're winning or losing. You just feel like you're hitting a ball with no real purpose. Sure, the crowd cheers and takes their heads off, but give me a great job or a ticking clock sound effect when I'm close to losing. You can click one of the four normal buttons while playing, and it will quiet and darken out the crowd during one round that the ball is in play, but this mechanic seems wasted. I like that I have control, but they could have used it to raise attention within game. But, as is, it's just a bit bland. There's a tournament mode, but it's basically just single player with brackets. Maybe good for amazing players, but I couldn't even make it past the first round. Maybe I just need practice. That being said, sometimes I hit the ball well and it moves across the table with grace, and other times it just putters off the end of my paddle, even though I feel like I hit it similarly each time. The one mode I thought was pretty cool was arcade mode. You pick from six little mini modes like hit the target or one where every time your ball hits the table it makes a hole, but my aim was pretty off. So even though the modes looked like fun, I just kept missing shot after shot. Mind you, after about 20 minutes or so of playing, I did start to get a little better feel for it and a haptic feedback from the controllers does pull me in, but no matter how immersive the game, the gameplay is just a bit stale. One thing to note. I did try playing it sitting down, and it worked very well, so 
For those of you out there that are wheelchair bound, you should have no problem enjoying this title. Also, a few tips if you do decide to purchase this one. Make sure you reset your camera to put yourself in the right position next to the table. While in game, press the move button, look up at the screen across the table to view the options menu. And finally, to select two-handed serving, you have to go into the options and turn it on or off. Motion sickness. I didn't have any but the ball wasn't really moving too much for me. I guess if you got really good at this and you had to keep following a ball quickly, there's a chance you could get a little bit dizzy, but I really wouldn't worry too much about that. The game is immersive, but for the most part, you're stationary. Drift. I never had any issues with drift, but like I said before, the paddle did glitch out a little when I got too close to the other while serving, but that's a very small thing. I have a strong feeling they can fix that in the future, although other than that, no issues, which really does surprise me. I was worried that latency might be an issue and balls would be all over the place, but for those of you concerned, everything works. Value. Now, here is where I have a big issue. Like I said before, this game was only 10 bucks in the Steam store, and for us, it's 15. Now, for 10 bucks, I probably wouldn't have had the biggest issue. I'll come back to this game every now and again, and it works, but 15 is a little steep for what you get. Verdict. It's like a VR ping pong mod for Minecraft, and although the audio isn't that great, the gameplay does work, and it's not too bad. I enjoyed the arcade mode, and although I'm sure I'll come back a few times, 15 bucks is a little too much in my opinion. So, for now, I really don't think it's worth your hard earned money. Oh shit, we lost. Well, that's it for this one. I was a little disappointed, but hey, they can't all be winners. I just hope we don't get too many more lackluster overpriced experiences. Speaking of which, did you grab Ping Pong VR? Are you enjoying it, or do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR, and you don't mind this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe! PSVR, Frank. It's lit! Hey, you. Check out this video. Or this video. And if you haven't already, friggin' subscribe! I mean, come on!